people like Schrodinger, uh, you know, uh, and, and um, many people before, many people after, have addressed fundamental questions about the nature of things. And one of the first things you have to um, tackle is how do you individuate something from something else? You know, you and I are clearly uh, distinguishable from our environment. I can look at you, I can see you as something that is not your do the door behind you or your bookcase, and indeed the books on your bookcase are other things that can be individuated. And that's quite remarkable because you know a lot of the universe is, is like some gas or some soup where it's very, very difficult to identify something in this melee of um, interconnected um, uh, dynamics. Uh, but there's something about things that is um, sort of um, self-defining in that they can be separated. There's a boundary of, of sorts between you and everything that's not you. And that's the role of the Markov blanket. Um, but another way, um, the Markov blanket is basically that interface that allows you as something with your internal states to be open to the rest of the universe. And so it's something that, it, um, if you like, individuates or separates you from everything else, yet at the same time plays the role of um, a, a way of you being open to the rest of the universe. Um, so the Markov blanket literally um, mediates the influence of the universe on you and the influence of you on the universe and yet um, surrounds you and insulates you in some statistical sense so that you can be individuated or separated from, from the rest of the world. So that, you know, the, the mark of blanket is quite crucial um, and leads to all sorts of implications. You know, my favourite is that um, now we've got a physics that can be applied to any random dynamical system where at its heart is a partition of two separate kinds of states of being or states, um, those that belong on the inside of a Markov blanket and those that are found on the outside. And that means for the first time, you can now start to talk about how the inside states represent the outside states. Notice without that separation, you can't do that. You know, the dynamics and, and the um, the uh, probability distributions over the, uh, over just one set of states can only be articulated in terms of the probability of being in a particular state or um, the probability of a particular path through state space. But now I've got this separation by appealing to this notion of the Markov blanket, which now enables me to talk about the internal states in some way holding probabilistic beliefs about the external states. So now we have an aboutness and a connection now between the physics of the um, internal states, the neural dynamics, the thermodynamics of the internal states that can also be read in a representational sense um, in terms of holding beliefs about, you know, subpersonal probabilistic beliefs representing in, in, in some um, elemental sense something else, you know, something on the outside. And that's, you know, if you like, um, the, the physicist version of uh, predictive processing, where you're trying to predict or represent or have fantasies, explanations, hypotheses, models of the causes of your sensations. Because of course, those causes are on the outside. You know, all you can do is register the um, the sensory signals from your retina or from your skin or from your ears or from your gut. You don't know what's actually going on beyond your sensorium, beyond your Markov blanket. But now you can read those internal dynamics as machinations, um, as if they were trying to infer what was happening on the outside, as if they were trying to represent the causes of their sensations namely the, the external states. So yeah, Markov blanket, really important. Hello everyone. If you enjoyed that video with Carl, please do find the extended conversation on the main channel. Sorry, well, the only channel. And uh, yeah, thanks very much.